Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and today we've got a brand new Spawn action figure to look at, and it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. It has been quite a while since I've looked at anything Spawn, especially the new figures, but more on that in just a few. But this is the brand new King Spawn with his demon minions, and here he is looking all demony and kingly. Comes in the big old mega figure box, it does have nice artwork all over the box. I like the reds. I like the imagery of King Spawn. Here's the barcode. So I'll put links down in the description below. Hey, thanks for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. Now, here's the deal with most recent Spawn action figures in terms of what I like to collect. They seem to have fallen off the wagon tremendously. And... There have been some odd choices, some odd characters. Yes, I know they need to make new characters, bring in new fans, but it's really hard to do that without a core spawn action figure. I know a lot of people will say, oh, but they have the Mortal Kombat spawns. They also have the Kickstarter spawn. A lot of people miss the Kickstarter one. A lot of people don't like the Mortal Kombat one, and a lot of people don't want to go back and collect the old Spawn figures, which have considerably less articulation and are not up to standards. I get it. I highly recommend them, though. I think that's definitely the way to go, but I'm not everyone else. So that is what is definitely missing from a Spawn action figure line in every single release outside of the original Mortal Kombat one of the most recent line has been very odd. It's almost as if Spawn has become this secondary thing, whereas that is what made McFarlane Toys. Those Spawn figures were so amazing. I still love them to this day. And again, they have made cool new Spawn figures, but largely it's been miss after miss after miss. So with this new King Spawn, I'm really hoping that that kind of changes everything and kind of puts it back on track. I'm going to tell you right now, this is not something I really had my eye on, except for the demon minions in the box. So in that sense, I wasn't going to get it, but since they shipped it out, we're going to take a proper look at it. But in the meantime... This is going to be an absolute blast, so sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new King Spawn and his Demon Minions by McFarlane Toys. And while I got all you Demon Minions here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids, and if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? We got old toys, we got new toys, we got daily news updates... I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So here's everything out of the giant box. <laughs> and one really has to think, is this really a mega figure in the grandest sense? And for me, no. This would be maybe the $40 deluxe figure. You do get a ton in the box. Don't get me wrong. You do get a bunch of weaponry. This is the type of gun I expect Spawn to use, of course. Now, there's not a whole heck of a lot of paint, if any, on these weapons. So it really is kind of an odd box set. Don't get me wrong, the weapons are cool, but it's a figure demon weapons pack. And for me, that's really kind of all over the place. These are guns that, yes, again, some of them I expect Spawn would use. When you get to, let's say, a shotgun, no, that's not really a gun Spawn uses. AK-47, if you're Sean Gordon Murphy, which, by the way, we should definitely get a Sean Gordon Murphy Spawn. That would be amazing. But let's say a Tommy gun, right? <laughs> I'll just show you. That looks really weird. I don't think of Spawn ever using a Tommy gun. And in that sense, it makes it very odd to have that in the box. What does work, though, is that we all know DC Multiverse don't have guns. So if you have a character like the Joker, yeah, Tommy Gun is definitely going to work. So it's kind of an accessory pack for other figures, sure, but then it's very disjointed. However, when you want to utilize Spawn, not all the weapons are going to fit in these hands. So that's kind of a downside. 
for those that you could kind of finagle in his hands, for those that really are what I would consider vacuum cleaner weapons, ones that are so big they don't make any sense, these types of guns specifically, yeah, that's definitely Spawn. Now, those weapons aside, we also have some demon minions. And these are by far the best thing going on in the box. I cannot tell you, and if you've seen any of my Spawn videos in the recent years, I have asked repeatedly, make a bag of demons again. Make those creatures. Make all those weird things that Greg Capullo used to design the heck out of in the backgrounds and everything else. This is an awesome looking demon. Minimal paint, some articulation. I love this thing. Along with whatever the heck this is, right? It is very much a Lovecraftian monster. <laughs> especially in the head or whatever you want to call it it has the big old tongue hanging out again very minimal articulation but to me it harkens back to the good old days of McFarlane toys in the 90s making spawn figures I mean the thing's guts are hanging out yes it only has minimal paints but I'll take it <laughs> for the love of god thank you for doing some sort of demons like even this guy right here with his big old jaw and his teeth and everything they are fun little creature demons that go very well with your spawn figures. Whether it's a spawn figure of today or yesterday, this definitely will elevate your spawn shelf because they're giving us demons. That's the whole thing about spawn, right? And speaking of which, here's an element I just don't care for. They're giving him these angel wings. And I know a lot of people out there are going to be really into this. I get it. I really like the Wings of Redemption spawn. One of my favorite old school spawn figures. One of my favorite old school covers. The King spawn with these wings. It's all over the place. If this is from the comics, which I really couldn't find any reference, so if you want to help me out, it just doesn't work for me. Again, it might work for you. You might think it's the coolest thing in the world. But spawn with angel wings? No. Wings of Redemption spawn was a whole one-off thing. <laughs> the wings don't work. That's for the Redeemer and yada yada. Plus, we have seen these wings reused a million times and there's still no articulation and there's very minimal paint. So I digress. They're not very good and they sure as heck do not do it for me in terms of putting them on this Spawn figure. So when you do look at Spawn, there's a couple things going on here. First and foremost, it's new parts and pieces, old parts and pieces. You get a new Spawn figure, more or less. King Spawn, very different, right? King Spawn, offshoot Spawn comic. It's still Al Simmons. When you usually see King Spawn, he usually has on the covers these big horns. Most of the time, they're brown, bone, light colored. Now he's got some red going on. He's also become very skeletal. He looks very much like the Spawn movie in some sense, especially in the new torso. Plus, he does have two giant holes on the back where you would plug in the wings. So if you leave the wings off like I'm going to do, you will have that, but it's on the back side of the figure. It's not too big of a deal. The horns, again, work and they don't work. I really wish that they weren't red. That's one reference I could not find. So again, help me out in the comments below. They're usually a white bone color, not a red color. However, there has been artwork where he's kind of has like a crown, although it looks like it's kind of floating around him. Maybe that's what they were going for. I do like a different design for Spawn. Don't get me wrong. This kind of looks like Curse of the Spawn to me, right? I love that it's very much the old school costume, his original with the red and the white and the black and the pouches and the big old gauntlets and everything else. However, it's a mishmash, right? He didn't have the boot when he had this costume. Then he kind of did. It's all over the place, right? I don't mind that. It makes for a good looking spawn figure. They've even given him a new gauntlet with spikes and it's red. And for the most part, they have finally painted all those details they should have painted on prior releases Minus the hands. They forgot the hands with the strap and the spikes, of course. Now, over and over, as I'll say, I love real chains on a spawn figure. We're getting plastic. I'm not going to nitpick him on that by any means. You've got the boot. Make a spawn figure without the boot one of these days. I'm telling you, based on the comments, people would really appreciate that. So for me, it has enough articulation. 
It does all the spawny things you could imagine. It's a very articulated 2024 modern action figure as opposed to what we used to get in the 90s. I think you'll dig it if you're a big stickler for articulation, especially in the ab crunch. I think that they really did a great job. But otherwise, it's a very different spawn figure. It's King Spawn, right? I like it for that. I like it for what it is. But it's just okay, right? At the end of the day, it's it's okay. Because when you look at the previously released Spawn figures, like the most recent ones, again, like I said, it's a cobblization of new parts and old parts. So you have the Spawn that came with the throne. No cape, right? Had some odd paint here and there. Then you have this new Spawn, which, yes, you could swap the heads if you want, but the paint is not going to line up. That Spawn is a lot more jet black. This is more of a gray black. And then you have the Batman versus Spawn 2-pack, which, yes, that is a solid Spawn figure for a modern Spawn figure, but I have my gripes with it, of course. Now, one thing I did get was a aftermarket real cloth cape. It's got bendy wire in it, and I use it on the Spawn that came with the throne. In all the artwork I've seen, this King Spawn doesn't have wings, right? He has an amazing red flowing cape. He's got his little minions, of course, whenever they pop up in the artwork. This looks so much better to me than the wings. <laughs> so in that sense, buy wings, keep the gun, get this long, beautiful cape going with the minions. That's what I want to see. But you have to do a lot to achieve that. It's not all in the box. And then I got to send you to eBay, which I'll put the link down in the description below. And you got to do all that, right? Yeah, you have to fight to make your spawn figure. Whereas back in the day, if you look at these, that was a spawn. You had everything in the box. And I know those days are long gone. I get it. You had real metal chains. You got the big old red cape. You had various looks. It was fun. Nowadays, it seems like everyone has to clamor and create their own spawn because the McFarlane Toys who make Spawn isn't making Spawn. And that, to me, is just insane. People want Spawn, right? To fight the clown and the bag of demons and the new demons we just got. So just to kind of show you what we got back in the day where these bendy wire worms came with various figures like Gravedigger. Or you could go on the McFarland store a long time ago, get a bag of demons, everything else. They're a lot of fun. I love the demons. Bring on more. And just to show you for this King Spawn, if you are a fan of old school Spawn figures and it's been a while since you've gotten a new Spawn, I do like this King Spawn. However, I will say he doesn't exactly fit with everything. You can see the Marvel Legends Hasbro Angela that can kind of go. In that sense, he's very different from the old school Spawn figures, but in a collection, you will barely notice. And yes, he will look really good. And speaking of King Spawn, of what I've really kind of paid attention to, one of the big bads that's kind of come back is, of course, this horrible POS, Billy Kincaid. And yes, they did do an action figure, quote unquote, of this horrible friggin' person way back when. It's not the greatest action figure you want to tell anybody that's part of your Spawn collection but he definitely got his comeuppance and Spawn saw to it proper. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys King Spawn and his Demon Minions. And I'm going to tell you honestly, this at best would be wait till clearance because it really is a Spawn figure. You do get some awesome demons and then you get a bunch of weapons that really don't go with Spawn. Now, that being said, if you're a DC Multiverse collector and you do like Spawn, this might be a good jumping off point for you. You will have extra weapons for your DC Multiverse figures, which are a definite plus. And then as I kept saying over and over, the demons really do make this. It's a different spawn, but they have done a little bit better in terms of what they've been really offering lately with the spawns universe line. Trust me on that. Plus, you give them the right weapons, you get him an aftermarket cape, which, yeah, it's going to be more money. Doesn't look too shabby at all, if I will say. Plus, again, if you have a giant spawn collection, he should go right well into it. So, you've heard my thoughts. So now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything spawn. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, bring on more spawn. With all these enemies we've been getting from the newest spawns universe... 
you're leaving out Spawn. More Spawn, McFarlane Toys. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.